Hey guys, you already know, it's your girl Indigo, back with another video, okay. <laughs> I know it's been a while, okay, I know y'all like, dang, a military Monday, she was preaching she's gonna be making a video every Monday, look. I got swamped, okay, work got crazy, my personal life, my other side business got really packed with stuff, I just had a lot of stuff going on, and I had to take a break from YouTube, because, you know, a lot of stuff was going on, but I decided, you know, I do like making videos, but I'm not about to do Military Mondays. I'm not going to make a video every Monday because I don't got something to say every Monday. That's just the truth. Uh, if you guys comment below and ask me questions or, you know, you come finding me on IG to DM me about military stuff, which I get a lot of now, I will happily answer those questions and make videos about it. But um, I'm not about to make myself make a video every Monday because that's just too much stress for somebody who has a career, a side business, and a life. So yeah but i will be making videos when i want to just like i'm making a video now and without further ado we are going to talk about what this video is about which i know y'all are like thinking this is clickbait i'm pretty sure y'all are like this can't be true all my old military heads anybody who knows anything about the military is like i know she lying y'all probably in this video can't wait to get on my comments saying you are lying this is not true <laughs> look okay i'm gonna just be 100 with it I am a single soldier, I'm not married, I don't have kids, and I'm getting without dependent BAH and BAS. And I'm living in housing, I'm living on post housing. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. I will be posting a video of my house, a tour of my house, probably one of these days soon, once I'm done furnishing everything the way I want it and stuff. But yes, everything I'm saying right now is true. I am a single, no children having woman, soldier, not woman, soldier, with a on post house getting BAH and BAS. Full BAH and, and BAS. Yes. Without dependence. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I mean, and I, <laughs> so I'm happy because, like, I'm just happy. I don't know what else to say. Like, uh, today, pay, today's payday and my paycheck look mighty good and I'm pretty happy about it. Um, but, uh, long story short, Let's just get into the details what I'm talking about. Uh, if you ever saw my, if you haven't seen my last video about how Fort Polk isn't that bad, this kind of goes back to that subject because this is one of those perks of living in the worst place ever, Fort Polk. It's the worst place ever, girl, but I'm getting paid and I have a house and I'm beginning to question who made this place the worst place because I think this might be a hidden gym. I'm just saying. I feel like this might be a hidden gym area. A hidden gym. Like, are y'all lying and saying Fort Polk is bad because y'all don't want us to get these perks or what? Because I've yet to not like Fort Polk. I might, you know, stress out about work and stuff, but this area and like the things that I get when it comes to the perks of living and stuff out here have not done me bad. So let me just explain why exactly I am living on post housing BH and BAS. So let's get into the details. So Fort Polk is overpopulated with single soldiers, meaning there are more single soldiers here than families and the barracks they have um, are filled. They're so filled that rooms that are made for one soldier have two, three soldiers in them. And it's so packed that the garrison commander actually made a, a program and the program is called the roommate program I think this is only in Fort Polk areas comment below if other areas have this but every time I ask different people from different stations about this they've never heard of this before um, even when I was talking to someone here and they were like what you got a house you can be H and BAS and you single and you're not an E6 yet like what how's that working uh, long story short the roommate program pretty much lets E5 and below, so you could be an E4, E3, e, anybody can get this, this perk. If your barracks are overpopulated, they allow you to be a part of the roommate program, which leads them to give you BAH and BAS to live on post housing. I mean, that's really what it is. And it's two th it's two ways you could do it. You either could be, it, I think this goes by your unit, and I think it might be different for females for some reason. I got the option. Um, other people who are in the roommate program who went into the briefing with me, they had to roommate up, but they were males. I don't know if that matters or how that works, but pretty much you get the option to either have a roommate or not. I know a lot of male soldiers who don't have roommates, but I also know in my unit, all the male soldiers seem to have roommates. So I don't know if that's a unit choice or what or how that works, but it's two ways to do it. Either you're gonna be having your house, you're gonna have a house all by yourself, 
and they're you're gonna get BH and BAS, but they're gonna take all your BAH and you're only gonna get the BAS, or you're going to get a roommate and you're both gonna get BH and BAS and you're gonna split the BH. So you're gonna pretty much split the bill for the housing, so you're gonna still get leftover money from your BH and your full BAS. So when I went in the briefing, the lady pretty much said people who have roommates save $700 extra a month. They get pretty much a $700 raise on their paycheck, while people who, a 700 something dollar raise on their paychecks, while people who are in this program and they're single and they're not sharing with a roommate, they get a $300 something uh, raise to their paycheck because they're getting their BAS. So pretty much if you get a if you find a battle buddy out here, y'all are the same ranking area, same unit maybe. I don't even think it matters if you're in the same unit, but if y'all come together and say, "Hey, we want to be a part of the roommate um, program together." Your unit signs off on it or whatever. You both will be, be you both will be given BAH and BAS. You will split the rent together with both your BAH and BAS and you will end up getting 700 and something dollars a month extra to your paycheck. While if you go in there like, "Hey, I don't want a roommate." you'll only get your BAS, which is like 300 and something extra to your paycheck. I mean, I don't know how else to explain that, but how I explained it, if you have more questions about what I'm talking about below, you can ask the questions. But yeah, uh, pretty much my, uh, most of the barracks out here are overpacked. I've yet to go to, uh, I, I know a lot of people in other units that say the same thing, like, yeah, we're so overpacked. We have people living outside the barracks in the roommate program. But out in Fort Polk, there's a good chance that you'll get to your unit. It'll be so packed, they'll move you into housing and give you BH and BS. And you'll probably, depending on if you get a roommate or not, be getting paid an extra 300 or 700 something dollars. I don't know if that sound bad to y'all. It don't sound bad to me, but that's what uh, pretty much the program I'm in is. Uh, the leasing office out here, it's called Corvius. They're attached to the army, but they're not. Pretty much you pay them through allotments or through my pay or however. You can even just pay them online. You pay them on the 15th and the 1st. They take out the BAH part of your, of your check. And then the rest of the money, if you have a roommate and you're if you have a roommate you're only gonna give them half of the BH you're getting and keep all your BS and if you don't have a roommate you give them all your you give them all your BH and you get to keep your uh, BAS so and this is all because I'm in Fort Polk I never got these options before in Fort Hood never got these options in Korea this is a Fort Polk thing and yeah I mean I don't know I don't want to get too I don't want to make this video too long but that's just the story sis uh, I got my own house and I'm getting BH and BAS and I'm single as a Pringle with no kids so call it clickbait if you want to it's the truth though I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, comment below if you want more answers more questions you got more things you want to know about the army about Fort Polk whatever and thanks for watching with my program <laughs> peace and hair grease